Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Straight Talk on 106.9 The X FM. I'm your host, Bill Paul, in London, Ontario, Canada, and we're talking with uh, recording artist Carlos Ferrar in Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the show, Carlos. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Excellent. Uh, your uh, latest single release, This My Jam, Turn It Up. How's it doing? Uh, it's doing great. Uh, we just got picked up in India. Um, it's nationwide. It's, uh, it's actually worldwide. Um, like I said, India's playing us. Uh, hopefully Canada will be playing us soon. Uh, getting great feedback. Um, I actually just did an interview with Hype Magazine on the single, and uh, they're actually dropping the video, so that's 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 great. Okay, and uh, you were born in Detroit, Michigan. Tell us about that. Uh, well, uh, I was born in uh, 88 in Detroit, and uh, growing up, I just I did a lot of talent shows around the city. It's a great city for music because, you know, as you know, Motown was founded there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I grew up, you know, listening to Marvin Gaye, people like that, Temptations, so... It was it was a great experience. Okay, yeah, I've got some friends who are on a local uh, public affairs radio station, and they uh, have bands on their show every week. So maybe you, you ran into a bunch of them in uh, uh, in Detroit. I did the concert of colors uh, every year in uh, oh, okay. downtown yeah, Detroit. Yeah, yeah, lots of good music. Yes, most definitely. Now, you uh, first discovered the talent to dance at the age of three. Tell us about uh, that. Well, uh, I was actually uh, dancing to a Michael Jackson <laughs> video. Uh, I think it was Smooth Criminal, dancing to it uh, in my mom's living room. What else she told me? I don't really remember it, but she, she noticed that I could dance. So she, uh, she, she enrolled me in classes, and ever since then, I've just been dancing. At the age of six, you started singing. Uh, yes, that was actually... Uh, my mom actually discovered that talent too. <laughs> um, uh, we were actually in the car driving around, and she just overheard me singing. She's like, "Wow, you can really sing!" So she got me voice lessons, and we just combined the dancing and singing from there, and just started doing talent shows around the city. At the age of fifteen, you met the piano. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, my dad. Dis- well, I I discovered it. I had a natural passion for it, but my dad was the one who encouraged me to keep doing it, and he got me in the classes for that and then took it from there and uh at 18 you moved to las vegas where you currently reside uh well actually i live in los angeles now Now? i just recently moved to las vegas but uh when i was 18 i did move to las vegas to pursue pursue dreams pursue my dream in music but um i met my manager shane a few months back and uh made the move to los angeles it's a little more opportunity here Shane Wall at Boot Camp Records, who's brought a lot of uh, uh, artists to us over the years. Tell us about Shane. Uh, Shane, oh, he's great. He's uh, he's real he's determined. Whatever he, he wants, he usually he makes it happen. So he always makes it happen. He hasn't let me down. Um, he pushes hard. You know, every artist on Boot Camp, you know, we all, we all go hard. And uh, when he says do something, when he says he's going to do something, he, he gets it done. And tell us about the uh, people that you've had a chance to work with. Um, I've toured with uh, Trey Song. Well, I've toured with My Shine. I've opened for Trey Songs. Mm-hmm. Um, my Shine is an Interscope recording artist. You guys probably you've probably heard of him. Um, so I've you... opened for Ray J. Uh, I've opened for Jay Holiday, John B., a few other R&B acts, and uh, those were great experiences. That gave me really that helped me helped me with my. Uh, it helped me with my, uh, you know, being in front of the stage and just mastering my craft. Now, when they talk about taking it to the next level, is that what you have to do when you're working with guys like that? Oh yes, most definitely, most definitely. Because uh, they 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 get they put on a great show every time. So you know, open it for them. Just you really got to be strong minded and just do what you need to do. Any of them surprise you? Uh. I'd say Trey Songz is, is surprising. So far, he's the best I've seen as far as opening for. I would like to open for Usher, though, because I've seen him in concert and Justin Timberlake, and they are amazing. <laughs> they are just phenomenal. Like, the whole show will keep you on your feet, the whole show. 
and uh, tell us about your travels. Have you have stuck mostly around the Los Angeles area, or do you get to move around a bit? Uh, well, I get to since my tour I did with my Sean, I've traveled a few, to a few cities on the western border, like Seattle, a few states: Seattle, California, Arizona. I'm working on the tour in Texas coming up soon. Um, that's pretty much it so far right now. Do you find that uh, the audiences differ from city to city and state to state? Or are some more aggressive or some more loving or are some more into it? Well, um, I must say, I think every city is different. Every city is great. Every city shows a lot of support and love. I think the southern cities are a little more exciting just because the people I mean down the southern cities they just they take stuff to the next level, you know, like they, they have pep rallies, you know, they just they they like celebrating. And mm-hmm. they celebrate to a whole different level. I will say that cities like Oklahoma City and uh Oregon states like Oregon and places like that that don't really get have much going on in those cities and states they uh they actually they enjoy a lot of concerts because a lot of concerts they don't a lot of artists don't really go there so when artists does go there you know they they appreciate it a lot more. And tell us about your single. Um, my single. Well, the single out right now is called "This is My Jam." Turn it up. Um, it uh, like I said, it got picked up in India, we're in UK, and uh, America, of course, and uh, it's, it's it's doing great. Like um, I'm getting a lot of good feedback. Um, Radio play every day. Every day it's a new radio station playing and adding it to the rotation. So um, I wrote it about a few months ago, recorded it, talked to Shane about it, and uh, we put it out as a single. It's a mm-hmm. club record. And any uh, story behind the song? Uh, well, I like, to jam- I like to dance, as you know. So I just wanted to put on a record that people could relate to and they feel good listening to and makes them feel good. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it as far as the song goes. And where can we find the song? Um, the song is on iTunes right now. You can go to www.itunes.com slash Carlos Ferrar, and then Carlos with a K, K A R L O S F A R A R, and uh, the song will come up. That single will come up, and also my EP will come up. Well, my producer has found it for us on the internet, and let's play it right now. Okay, let's go. This is my jam. Turn it up. Y'all know me, Willow 
so the new king R&B yeah. And we go high, we the ish, try us out Perfect fit, don't forget So much swagger, we can sell a little bit So get in line, get your piece hey. It ain't high, we this cheap oh. Hang on lie, little mama, I'm beat But you got what it takes, so I'm on my feet And I too stab, how about you? I don't dance, low so do yeah. F.A. Egypt, thought you knew Yeah, I got my click, baby, where your crew? Cause we tryna pull out all night Cause you, I admire Take all of your clothes off Like you was on fire And I'ma put you out Yeah, the boy wonder what you about What did I need you? I need your mouth So to the DJ, you need to shout That's my jam, turn it up That's my song, up in my cup Why the DJ playing my song Oh, DJ making this party I'm in that VIP That's my jam We're back with Carlos Farrar, and uh, this is Bill Paul, and this is Straight Talk. I'm in London, Ontario. Carlos is in Los Angeles, California, and we've just listened to This Is My Jam, Turn It Up. And, uh, Carlos, what kind of reaction have you got on that? Um, I've gotten a lot of reactions. Uh, I've actually been in clubs when they've actually, like, played it in the club, and people love the song because it's, it's just a feel-good song. You know, everybody can relate to it. Everybody wants to have a good time when they go out, so that's pretty much what the song is saying. So when people hear it, they just they go nuts. And what kind of reaction do you get when they see that it, you're there and your song is playing in the club? Uh, I, I feel great because um, just making people happy, giving people something they can listen to, that they can relate to is is good. Let them know I'm I'm doing my job right. Well, tell us about a party you were recently at a birthday party for celebrity choreographer Flex. Uh, yeah, that Flex, he's a good dude. Um, actually, the party uh, I had little mama. Little mama was there. She was a guest. She actually hosted the party. Um, heavy impact from America's Best Dance Crew. A lot of dance crews were there. Uh, it was good. It was fun. It was a lot of dancing going on. A lot of party. Um, that was in I, 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 that was in Hollywood, California. Uh, yeah, Hollywood, and, California. And you were on the red carpet. I saw the video, and when asked what music mean to you, what did you say? Uh, it's everything. <laughs> music is everything. That's my answer. That every time somebody asks me that, that's what it is. It's everything. It's all I live for and breathe for. And what was it like being at a celebrity party? Uh, it was. It was. It was cool. I mean, I I've done other celebrity parties so i mean i'm used to being around other celebrities but i mean it's always good to be around dancers that that was the plus about it now what uh, have you got lined up uh coming along um well like i mentioned earlier we have a uh, hype magazine supposed to be debuting this my jam turning up the video it's supposed to be dropping it uh soon probably in a few weeks two two or three weeks or next week I don't, i'm not really sure on the day yet um I have another follow-up single called Bacardi Patron coming out um, in July, August, hopefully. Um, I have an album coming out November, December time frame. And uh, I have tours coming up this whole summer. And more red carpets, BT Awards coming up. Uh, hopefully I can get on that red carpet. And um, that's pretty much it. Who will you be touring with this summer? Uh, well, I might be touring with, uh, one of my DJs. His name is DJ Baby Chino. I might be doing a Southern tour with him. And, uh, hopefully we could get on another BET Black College tour. Uh, it's still in the works, though. Nothing's, nothing's final, but we're working on it. Well, you used to live in Detroit. Did you make, uh, many trips over to Canada? Oh, yes, all the time. <laughs> Canada, Canada's a fun place. I love Canada. And uh, from Canada too, also. I'm talking to you from uh, London, Ontario. Have you ever been through here on the way to Toronto? Um, passing. I don't know. Do we do we pass through there to get to Toronto? If you're on the highway, you do. 
Okay, well, yeah, I, I've never stopped. I, I was kind of young, you know. I'm only 21 now, so <laughs> all the times I went to Canada was to go to the little amusement park they have. I think it's in Toronto. It's a huge. Yeah, I thought it'd be Canada's Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, that's why I do remember it. But uh, yeah, I've driven through there a few times. All right. Well, um, if you've got a message for our listeners, what would it be? Uh, thank you for all your support. Please continue to support me, and I promise to continue to give you great music to listen to. All right. And where can we go on the Internet to find out more about you? Um, you can go to www.carlosferrarmusic.com. That's uh, K-A-R-L-O-S-F-A-R-R-A-R-music.com. Okay. And uh, anywhere else we can find some stuff? Uh, YouTube.com slash Carlos Ferrar. Um, iTunes, of course. iTunes.com slash Carlos Ferrar. Um, Facebook.com slash Carlos Ferrar. Twitter. I have a Twitter. Twitter.com slash Carlos Ferrar. Well, I've got enough time to ask you uh, about uh, your influences. Do you have some, uh, obviously you've performed with a lot of fun people. Have you got some heroes in the music industry that you look up to? Um, well, I, I look up, uh, rest in peace, Michael Jackson. Um, he was really a lot of my motivation to even get involved with music, especially dancing. Um, I, like, I love Usher, you know, Justin Timberlake, two great entertainers that I look up to. Um, I like Beyonce, Alicia Keys, pretty much all the icons, <laughs> anybody who's just iconic right now. Now, how about in dancing? Um, there are all kinds of dance television shows out there, star maker television shows. Uh, do you see anything happening exciting on those? Um, as far as me on them? Well, it could be you, uh, 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 people that you've seen out there. Oh, well, uh... Flex, he actually, I look up to Flex. He, uh, he does a lot of choreography for the uh, Mr. Best Dance Crew. And uh, I love Jabberwockies. They're from Las Vegas. So um, I love Break Skate. I, pretty much any crew that's on America's Best Dance Crew, I, I, I love and look up to because they just, they give it they all every time they go out. So Yeah, there's also been some dance crews on uh, America's Got Talent. Oh, yes, yes. You know what? I I used to watch that show, and I haven't had a chance to w watch it lately because I've been so busy. And I know that uh, So You Think You Can Dance just started up. Also, I'm a big fan of that show, but I had, I didn't get to watch that one as much as I wanted to. Yeah, there's even a Canadian version now. Oh, oh really? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I guess we, you know, dance with maple sugar or something like that to make it Canadian. But uh, <laughs> uh, uh, And... Uh, where do you see yourself, oh, say, five, ten years down the line? Um, well, hopefully I plan to be right where, about on the same level as Usher and Justin Timberlake are right now. Pretty much iconic, selling out concerts everywhere. Um, I plan to start my own record label. Because um, Shane, you know, he's, he's installed a lot of tools in me to, to do that, the business side of the music business. And, um... I just want to. I want to be a CEO in ten to fifteen years. <laughs> a CEO and very successful. Now I'm also interested. You mentioned that your uh, singles in India have been picked up, and what does it mean to you to have people from other cultures appreciate not just your music, but the whole genre of music? Um, that means a lot because I was I was shocked when I got the news too. It was really shocking to me because I don't even think they. I mean, they don't talk English, so for them to li take time out of their day or whatever they're doing and just listen to my music is is just it's just overwhelming, and I, I appreciate it every day. Every thank God every day for just every blessing that He's given me. All right, and uh, uh, when you go out to celebrate. How do you let off steam if you've, you know, you've been working hard in the studio, you've been working hard on stage or or, what, or at a concert, what do you do to let off steam? Uh, really, I just, I, I write a lot, you know, I write, I, I plan to put out a book in a few years, and then a movie after that, but I like writing, I, I write songs or just poetry just to relieve my mind or go out to a movie or something, you know, with, with my family, it's pretty much how I relax, but overall I just 
everything I do is related to music, so even when I'm doing music, it's relaxing. Now, do you think the music that uh, you're involved with, the whole genre, is being used properly uh, in TV and movies, uh, games, um, as backdrops, that sort of thing? Is it uh, because certainly rock and roll has come up uh, as backdrops for all manner of uh, commercials, television, film, and gaming? Um, have you seen a lot of the uh, rap and hip hop music? Uh, used the same way? Um, well, I, well, my genre, I do pop and R&B, so yep. I think pop, I think pop music is always, you know, it's always going to sell and people are always going to use it because it's exciting and it's marketable to every, every, everybody mostly. Um, hip hop, um, I think, I think they, I think it's being used, I think it's all balanced pretty much. Of course, I mean, pop and country and rock are always going to be used a little bit more just because it's more versatile and marketable to everybody. All right, and what are you going to do uh, after the interview today? Um, I'm going to go to the studio, <laughs> and I'm probably going to write some more songs and uh, meet up with Shane. <laughs> All right, well, say hello to Shane Wall for us at Boot Camp Records. Okay, no problem. And uh, we always enjoy uh, all the people that he sends to us, including yourself. And, uh, Carlos, one more time, if people want to hear your single, if people want to follow your career, how can they do that? Uh, they can go to www.itunes.com slash Carlos Farrar. That's K-A-R-L-O-S-F-A-R-R-A-R. And they can go to www.carlosfarrarmusic.com. And don't forget to uh, Google Boot Camp Records and uh, check out all the other uh, actions happening with uh, Shane Wall and the crew. Carlos, I want to thank you very much for talking to us all the way from Los Angeles no today. No problem, no problem. I, I, I thank you for having me. I'm Bill Paul. This is Straight Talk. Much more coming up on 106.9 The X FM.